Hey guys, I'm Tom the Tech Chap, and buying a new laptop can be tricky. There is an awful lot to think about. So I've teamed up with the lovely folks over at Dell to help guide you through it. But I think laptops fall under three main categories. You've got your casual laptops for home and office and student work, a little bit more affordable. Then you've got your creative laptops, which are often higher spec, maybe a nicer screen, 4K or OLED perhaps, and possibly slightly more premium designs. Then performance for gaming laptops, for workstations, where you need a bit more horsepower, dedicated graphics cards, and usually a bigger, beefier cooling system. So in terms of Dell's current XPS lineup, I would say that the Dell XPS 13 would be in that category category. I think the 13 2-in-1 would fall in there as well. And then you've got the XPS 13 Plus, perhaps in the creative category. And then you've got your XPS 15 and 17 falling into that power category. So keeping that in mind, let's run through some of the key specs you should look out for when buying a new laptop. Number one, the processor, aka the CPU. Right now, we have the latest 12th generation Intel Core processors, like the i5 and the i7. This is the brains of the laptop. So that's a good starting point. But then these 12th generation chips also have U, P, or H series progressively getting more powerful. For example, the XPS 13 and the 2-in-1 both use the lower power U series chips, the XPS 13 Plus comes with the slightly more powerful P series, and then your XPS 15s and 17s get the H series. Number two, graphics. All these laptops come with integrated graphics on the processor. If you're rendering, doing 3D designing, 4K video editing, then you'll want a dedicated graphics card. And these are most common in bigger 15, 16, and 17 inch laptops, like the XPS 15 and 17, because they draw more power and also need beefier cooling. So processor, graphics, and then RAM. Let's keep this nice and simple. I think eight gigabytes of the stuff is fine, but ideally 16 gigabytes is the sweet spot for future-proofing your laptop. And if you're one of those people like me who have a ton of Chrome tabs open and do some serious multitasking. Only really if you are using a workstation style laptop would I consider 32 or even 64 gigabytes of RAM. Then we have storage, and this is nice and simple because all new laptops come with SSDs or solid state drives. And don't worry if that just goes way over your head, all you have to worry about really these days is how much, the capacity. And I think five 12 gigabytes is the sweet spot. So that is all the internal stuff, but what about this, the screen. Sizes range from usually 13 up to 17 inches. Bigger screens are great for having more desktop space, great for having apps side by side or a more immersive experience, but then the bigger the screen, the bigger the laptop, the less portable it is. Also, many laptops these days offer touch screens, which can be handy for, well, just interacting with the screen in a different way, doing e-signatures. I wouldn't say it's essential, but if you are doing some doodling or note-taking, it could be nice. Which leads me on to number six. Last but not least, let's talk about design. How important is it that it's thin and light? Are you carrying it around all day? What kind of screen size do you want? And also in terms of the materials, more affordable laptops will often be plastic, whereas higher end premium models will be metal with more stylish designs. Also consider different form factors. This is the Dell XPS 13 2-in-1, which is a tablet computer, which docks with this keyboard folio case. So you get a sort of two-in-one tablet laptop. And many of these two-in-ones will offer stylus support. This is the XPS pen. So if you are note-taking, drawing, doodling, it's much nicer with this. And breathe, that is a lot to take in. But above all, keep in mind, what are you gonna be using it for? That way, you'll end up with a laptop that's right for you and you don't spend more than you need. And also, don't forget to read or watch a bunch of reviews before you pull the trigger. That's probably my number one tip. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope that helped. I'm Tom the Tech Chat, and I'll see you again soon.